So this video is just a 10 minute kind of blast for pretty much your whole body. Um, if you have any injuries or issues, this is probably not the one for you, but as long as you're fit and well and feeling good and confident in your body today, um, this is a great workout to really get you working quite hard just for 10 minutes. Um, if you're not sure, always give me a shout. If you're halfway through and you think mm, this is not for me, then please stop, get in touch. We can always give you different things to do. All right, so I'm going to run through really quickly the 10 kind of exercises we're going to do, and then we're going to do each of those for a minute as our 10 minute round. Okay. So, first, number one, we're going to start in standing. And the idea of this is not to go as fast as you can or do as many as you can in a minute. We're just using the minute. Um, as a timer. So still think about your position and how you're doing this. So we're going to breathe out and roll down. We're going to pause at the bottom there and then we're going to walk the hands forward out to plank. Hold your plank just for a breath and then walk those hands back again. And then lift the tummy, tuck the tailbone and roll back up. So we're just going to walk out and back from our roll down into plank and back again. That's number one. Next exercise, we need to be in our plank position to start. And from here, we're just going to think about sending the hips high, coming back up into down dog. And then we're going to reach one hand back towards the opposite shin, look underneath that arm, and then switch over. Come back to the center, transfer forward into your plank, hold for a breath, and then back to your down dog. Reach back with one hand, reach back with the other hand. We'll do that for a minute. Okay, from there, we're going to come down onto the forearms and we're going to go into side plank one way and then side plank the other way. And we will just keep rolling back and forth for a minute. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to come over onto our backs. We're going to roll like a little ball. It's almost like a little recovery around this. So we're going to roll back and then just come up nice little boat position. So not holding on too hard, but just using your hands just for a little bit of help and balance there. Okay, once we've done that one, we will set up onto our backs. So we're going to start in double tabletop, we're going to do some ab low press. So I would flatten your back into the mat. We're going to work quite hard today. If you know you can maintain neutral, that's fine. Otherwise, flat back. So we're going to keep that double tabletop position and we're going to do a minute of normal abdominal prep. So really focusing on those ribs sliding down towards the hips and then we're going to go into crisscross. So we're going to reach one leg away, take the shoulder on that side towards the opposite leg but it stays still. And we're coming back to the mat with our head and shoulders in between each one, still keeping the form. Okay, after we've done those two, we go for a level five single leg stretch. So bring yourself back up into abdo prep, reach one leg away, and then we're just switching one side to the other. If at any point you just feel like your neck is doing too much, you can come back to the mat. So that's one. Then legs glued together, arms a bit wider, we're going for a hip twist five. So we're going to breathe out. Take those knees across to one side. Pause for an in breath. Breathe out, take those knees across to the other side. Hold for an in breath. All the time, keeping the shoulder blades glued to the mat. Do not want to look over the other shoulder. So that is number nine. And then finally, we're going to come up and do a little active stretch to finish. Legs wide, arms wide. We're going to breathe out, twist towards that foot, reach towards it. Breathe in to come up, breathe out, twist towards that foot, and come back to middle. So that is our 10 exercises. I've only done like a couple of seconds of each, so I think we might all die, but we'll give it a go. We have a nice timer here. We've got 10 minutes to get through. <sighs> right. Okay, so we'll start the time. We've got 15 seconds just to get organised. So we're starting and standing. Just keep hip width apart. Have a nice deep breath in. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Breathing out to peel down. Pause there for an in-breath. Breathe out, walk those hands forward. Hold for an in-breath. Breathe out, walk those hands back. 
and as you breathe out, lift through the tummy, exhale, go. Breathing out to roll down, walk those hands forward, hold for a second, breathe out, walk those hands back, tuck the tailbone, lift through the tummy, bring it back up. seconds, we've got time for one last one. And rolling back up, okay, so next time we get back to the mat, we're going to hold that plank. There we go, sing. So transferring back up into down dog. Reach back with one hand towards the opposite shin. And then the other. And transfer forward into your plank. And go. Hips back up towards the ceiling. Reach with one arm. Reach with the other arm and then forwards into your plank. Hips back up towards the seat. One arm, other arm, back into your plank. One, two, back into your plank. Bring it back. One. We've got 10 seconds left. Two. Maybe one last set. Hips up towards the ceiling. One. Two. Put my shirt out. Okay, coming down onto forearms. Really make sure you've got um, tailbone to tummy lifted. Come round onto the sides of your feet, onto the forearm. Reach up. And then switching over. And reach up. Rolling over. Lifting out of that bottom shoulder, whichever shoulder you are supported by, keep feeling that you're lifting out of it. Nearly there, we've got about 10 seconds to go. Keep those hips up away from the mat. There we go. Three, two, one. Okay, come down with your hands and knees, come over. So you are like a little ball. We're going to roll backwards and pause up in that bow position. So see if you can keep those feet up at hip height or a knee height. Bring that chest up as well. Come right up onto those seat bones. Ten seconds to go. Okay, let those feet come down. Set your position. I would flatten into the mat. We're coming to double tabletop. So first leg up, second leg up. Hands behind the head. Breathing out. Slide those ribs to the hips. Bring those head and shoulders away from the mat. Really glue your legs together for this. Just give yourself a little bit more stability. Activate through those adductors. Halfway there. 30 seconds to go. Doesn't matter if your head and shoulders don't come that far away from the mat. It's more about getting those ribs at the front sliding down towards the hips. Ten seconds. And then we're going to go into crisscross. Ten. No, eight. Oh, it's going quicker than I thought. Brilliant. Three, two, one. Okay, so reaching one leg away. Opposite shoulder comes towards the knee but stays still. And then back to the centre. Just 
do a key thing. Flat back, relatively flat into the mat. Equal weight down into both sides of your bottom. I can feel my elbows are wanting to come in a bit too much. Think more about that shoulder coming as opposed to the elbow. About 20 seconds to go. We're going to go into our level five single leg stretch. Nine. Maybe that. Three. Pause. Hold that as leg rep. Switching the knees in and out. Check that back is still flat into the mat. Really reaching out through those toes. I remember I realised I've missed one in our list of best sides of the night because it's that one, so we'll be all right on that one. About 20 seconds to go. Keep those ribs sliding down towards the hips. You've got 10. Go three and one. Let your head relax back to the mat. Have a little breather for just a second. Come up into that abdo prep. Keep your legs glued together. Just touch your feet down to the mat. Make sure you keep that back flat into the mat. Touch your toes really close to your bottom. It doesn't matter if they don't reach the floor. If that is too strong for you, you just do one toe at a time. Really keep your lower back pushing into the mat all the way through that. Well done, we've got 20 seconds or so and then we just got our hip twist for height. Five seconds. Okay, arms wide, keep those legs glued, take those knees across to one side. Pause for your in-breath, breathe out, draw them back to the other side. You might want to look over the other shoulder. Keep those shoulder blades glued to the mat. So you will be using your arms, just try and keep those shoulders drawing away from the ears. Seconds. Try and keep the length through both sides of your waist all of the time. So those knees always stay pointing up towards the ceiling, kind of working that one plane. We go about 10 seconds to go. Three, two, Come back to the middle, bring yourself up to sit. Last one, legs wide. Have a breath in and breathe out. Twist to reach towards that one foot. Breathe in to come up and breathe out. Twist towards that foot. those toes pulled up towards the ceiling. Doesn't matter how far you reach, just getting that rotation and the little forwards reach. Less than 20 seconds to go. quite as brutal as the first one I did, but um, it's still a good old work.